Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about my opinion on what the possible rework for Inaros is going to be like. Now, let's dive into them. So, as you can see, this is Inaros. Um, I'm only going to use the regular one because mine is all modded out with all sorts of fun stuff. So, as you can see, he has plenty of armor, decent amount of energy, he has only health. So that's why he has 550 in health and uh, normal uh, sprint speed. Now, one of the things I think they'll definitely redo for a rework is his passive. But we'll go over everything before I start giving my opinion. So his passive is when he bleeds out, he hops into his sarcophagus and he's able to revive himself. And... You have to give like a mummy stare and you'll drain life from enemies. You can also do it to allies, but I don't know how good it is and I don't know how much you can actually do. His first ability is Desiccation. And this one is basically a pocket sand, plus you can uh, do a finisher. So it will blind the enemies, and then you can pop in with a finisher and get some health back. Honestly, this is a really good first ability to have. And what I mean a really good first ability to have, it's really good. I think they need to change at least one of the things for it, but we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Devours his next ability. And essentially it's a stun, but you can go up to them, you can go up to the enemies and heal yourself by draining their health. As you can see, there's a damage per second at the bottom there. Once you get up to full health, or you kill them by draining their health, they actually turn into a sand puppet, essentially. Now, the next one is Sandstorm. I really shouldn't have to tell you what kind of... Uh, uh, what this does. It turns you into a big old tornado uh, that you can move around. And this one is kind of silly, honestly, da uh, drain per second is, I, I really don't like this ability, um, and they really tried to make this work, but it, it, it's, an, it's a novel idea, honestly, if they did change this, I hope, hopefully it will be for the better. And his last and fourth final ability is Scarab Swarm, where you actually charge your health in order to uh, increase your armor, but then you're able to take 25% of it, or a charge, and then bestow it upon an enemy to heal either yourself or allies. Um, now, my opinions, we're going to start all the way in the back. So, his passive, it sucks. It sucks so hard, I, I, don't even, I can't even tell you how how much this sucks i mean it is a great passive but if you're using the uh last stand for your uh tenno yeah this this passive sucks because you won't be able to use it so this should be going off of max health percentages the damage this does to revive yourself because right now in higher level enemies even if you have the provoked mod on your warframe it still does nothing and i absolutely hate it when you have to have one mod constantly on your warframe because of it, it doesn't function if it doesn't have it so that is a no-no for me I think this should be changed, I, I, just changed so it's buffed, more like. I don't want it to be gone forever. I think it is fine as, an abil as the ability it is, but it shouldn't be uh, changed completely. I think this needs to just have a, it goes off of the enemy that you grabs maxed health. It should kind of work exactly like Devour, to be quite honest. You pull them in, and it'll charge faster. Or just make this so that it charges a hell of a lot faster. And maybe the more you get downed, the less it'll do. So maybe the first one you go down, it's a hundred percent. It just it, it zoop, easy. 
the next one 75 the next one so it's, you get four bleed outs before you finally bleed out bleed out i think that's what that should be this ability this one doesn't need anything this is actually a very good ability to have and what i mean a very good ability i mean you you, you it, it's a quick quick blind you can steal health and it, it costs very little the range is pretty good duration's not bad Honestly, again, this is a very, very subtle, a very subtle ability, and I kind of like this. So this one, I would say absolutely no changes. Now, when I said absolutely no changes, I actually forgot to say that there's one change I do want, but it's a very minor thing, and I think it's just the hitbox. So when you do go up to an enemy that is blinded, if your, if Anaros actually touches him, and when I say touches him, I mean just literally you run into them, you aren't able to do the finisher. I think it might be a bug, but if they are gonna do any changes, I would just make it so that as long as the duration is going, you're able to do the finisher no matter what. But yeah, other than that, that's about it. This one on the other hand, I feel like this is kind of uh, the same ability as this. I want to say the kind of the exact same. I mean, Devour is literally the one. Uh, the Doing one and holding it. Yes, you're invulnerable while you're healing. But this one, you just kind of hit an enemy. And then you can pull enemies towards that one. And it infects them with the same thing. And you can just get more healing. So, honestly, I think they should change this. So, instead of it being a you being healed now i know de has been going very wild over the uh over the overguard stuff and they've been adding overguard honestly if they were going to do anything and i would say this still and not giving him a new ability i think devour should be changed so either this one gives you overguard or this one gives you overguard one or the other honestly i think it should be devour that'll give you overguard and it should just go straight up to the max either way and when i say up to the max i mean like if it if your max is fifteen thousand overguard you should just zoop right up to fifteen thousand and then it should either have a cooldown or it should be only allowed back when you're down to maybe half of that. I don't know. Um, I like to make at least part of a solution here. Uh, the next one, Sandstorm. I feel like this needs a little... I, the, definitely the drain per second needs to be lowered. The damage... I think is fine and is fair. The damage multiplier again. I think I think most of this is fair. It's just the drain, because you're already asking for seventy five uh, seventy five seventy five power or seventy five yeah seventy five and you're already asking for seventy five energy off the bat, which is a lot. And then on top of that. You're asking for 10 every second. Now, you can have Hunter's Adrenaline or Rage while using this, but I don't see the point when anything near you is already being sucked up. So, I feel like if they turn down the drain for this, I think this would be a little bit better. Maybe make the radius a little higher. Uh, anything that ragdolls, I really don't care for. But I would definitely uh, consider this more, especially with its augment, if they just took the damage and increased it a little bit more. Alright, this one, on the other hand, I have a beef with this one. I think the drain, energy-wise, should be non-existent. I think sacrificing health in order to have your 
buff, but then having to use energy to put that buff onto someone else is lame. It Honestly, what they should have done is they should just say, you know what, uh, Inaros, you want all the health in the world? Fine. All your abilities cost health. Just straight up, all your abilities right now cost health. No more energy. You don't need energy no more. It's just health. And then increase his maximum, uh, his starting maximum uh, health to maybe 700. But then everything costs health. Um, besides that, I know it says corrosive way at the bottom here. Uh, it does not do corrosive damage. I think that needs to be fixed right off the bat. Uh, if it does do corrosive damage, it it, it should just do true damage. Um, but if they do pro if it does proc corrosive, it should be doing corrosive. It doesn't. I don't know if that's a bug that no one's just reported. I don't know if that's anything. It straight up doesn't do it. Other than that, actually, this is a decent ability. The duration is not bad on it. The range is actually really good. You could pop this down and. You actually, you can pop two of them down that are pretty close to each other, stand next to them, heal your, or re regain your uh, charges, and then keep on keeping on. Uh, but that is my entire spiel on Anaros. Um, I think that the rework hopefully will come by the end of the year. I highly doubt it will. But... Uh, if DE does actually look at this, I highly doubt they do. Um, maybe a shout out would be nice. Don't think so. But it'd be nice. Anyways, if you like this, uh, please uh, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Whenever I upload, you'll be the first to know. Until next time, y'all take care. Stay cool. Goodbye. Ha 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 